learning more about the body found at Soldiers Field Park yesterday morning, he is identified as 69-year-old Marvin Peterson. Tonight, we're hearing from his family and others from the community who say it's time city leaders step up and help those struggling with homelessness. We're joined now by ABC6 News reporter Maisie Olson. And Maisie, you spoke to his only child today, his daughter, and we now understand that he was here in Rochester as a patient for Mayo Clinic. Robin, that's right. Lisa Hill says that's what brought Peterson to Rochester in the first place for medical treatment to try and save his life. Between expensive medical bills, no job, and no money for housing, Marvin Peterson lived here in Soldiers Field Park. And that's ultimately where Rochester police found him still lying in his tent. Marvin Peterson's favorite place was always in the sky. He was different. Um, Adventurous. He used to be a balloonist, and his daughter Lisa Hill says he's been free spirited his entire life. Bouncing from place to place, he landed in Rochester, receiving treatment for thyroid cancer, multiple surgeries, and most recently, a broken shoulder. He wasn't on the streets for mental health reasons. You know, he was there to try to get help with his cancer, you know, and then hopefully come live with me. Hill even bought a two bedroom apartment ready to bring her dad home. But Tuesday, she received a phone call, one she was always afraid of. But I'm thankful that they got a hold of me, and you know, it wasn't like I never spoke to him again. I never, you know, knew what happened to him. People in the community reeling as Peterson marks the second death in Rochester's homeless population this summer. It's a tragedy. It's a loss to the community. It's a loss to a family that lost a loved one that. That, that died alone. We're kind of family, you know. The homeless is kind of my big family also. In the last six months, the number of homeless receiving services at the Landing MN has more than doubled. We're just trying to stay alive, actually. It's really tough. Advocates say the city and county need to do more. We have a very large problem um, in Olmstead County, in the city of Rochester. Um, with folks that are experiencing homelessness. We're doing the best that we can. We need everybody to step up and help. For Lisa's dad, it's too late. He was a good guy. There's probably a lot of good guys that are homeless. She doesn't want others to leave the world how he did. Lisa Hill and her family are driving here to Rochester to lay flowers in the park where her dad died. Meanwhile, advocates for the homeless population continue to fight for solutions to the rising and ongoing problem in the city. Live in Rochester, Maisie Olson, ABC6 News.